assisting for occlusal equilibration. Hello, this is Dr. Ruiz. And first of all, I would like to share with you the armamentarium necessary for a full mouth equilibration. And usually I like to have a mirror, a good quality mirror, some cotton rolls, uh, and usually we need plenty of cotton rolls. Also, uh, you know, a lot of ga gauze. Uh, I like to have two uh, paper articulator plier and w for for the blue articulating paper and one plier for the red articulating paper. And I like to have my assistant have a few a spare uh, articulating paper uh, squares ready. And I like I like the the articulating paper to be the full length of the plier or the of the articulating paper plier. Now this is uh, to, uh, the setup for just a simple uh, bite equilibration or bite uh, adjustment for a single tooth or for a couple of fillings. In other words, what I would call a, an MIP occlusal adjustment or a natural bite occlusal adjustment, which usually I'm going to adjust uh, uh, when I'm doing a, a you know couple of restorations, couple of fillings, couple of onlays. Uh, my you know I'm gonna adjust on the patient's natural bite. As you can see right here in this video, I am uh, putting plenty of cut and roll in the patient's mouth, a couple underneath the tongue, a couple on the facial and the mandible, and a couple on the maxilla. Uh, then, as you can see, my assistant and myself are drying the teeth using the uh, air, water, uh, air, air syringe, and the, patient, the assistant is constantly drying the mouth. And as, as you can see in this view, the assistant is... Uh, placing the plier covering one entire half a mouth with the with the, the full length of the paper and asking the patient to tap tap and we will you know the, the assistant will ask the patient to or I will ask the patient tap tap and the patient will tap their teeth twice now as you can see the assistant has in her hands the air water syringe the plier and the second plier for the for the uh, centric bite now, you just notice the reason why I like to have two pliers, extra pliers and extra paper. In case it drops, I don't have to wait until the assistant goes to get a new one. She just grabs it. Or in case the paper it gets gets wet, the, the assistant can just switch from one plier to the next with the paper that's ready to go. This makes it efficient. My goal is when I'm doing a, a bite uh, adjustment or a bite equilibration, I want things to go fast and predictable. Now, uh, the assistant is, or myself is asking the patient to grind her teeth. We're checking for laterals and for protrusive. And uh, the assistant, as I'm adjusting, the assistant is suctioning, making sure the that the, there's no saliva in the mouth. Um, and then the, 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 the assistant place, places the plier, and I go ahead. I have In one hand, I have my mirror, and the other hand, I have my... my um, my drill for adjustment. Now we're going to see uh, an equilibration, uh, the, the, the technique for a, for a CR situation. And this is when I will, uh, as a clinician, I will be doing by manual manipulation. For the assistant, is basically the same steps. The assistant will place the plier, making sure that she's covering or he's covering half a mouth fully. Then as I'm do, doing the, the adjustments, the assistant is suctioning get rid of the saliva, the hand piece is running without air. Well, I'm sorry, without water because the goal is that, that we're not going to wet the teeth. We want the teeth to stay dry. So the hand piece is running without water. Again, as you see, the assistant is constantly drying. She, the assistant is not suctioning the water. The assistant is suctioning the saliva, keeping everything dry by keeping the mouth packed with cut and rolls, we don't get that paper wet quite as fast. Now, as necessary, she will replace the paper with a different, with a, either with a second plier, or or will replace the paper on the same plier. As you can see, as as need be, you know, when the assistant notices that the 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 cuttings are very wet, then immediately she will provide me new cuttings. We will replace. The, the cuttings for dry ones so we can continue our process we will do um, you know we will re-dry the mouth make sure that everything is, is nice and dry uh, you know and, and we will continue our process uh, I will do by my by manipulation and the assistant will be placing the plier 
uh, covering half a mouth at a time. Then I will make my adjustments. And the final, um, the final adjustment after I finish my centrics, as you know, this is the last adjustment on the centric stops. Um, then, then I will do the lateral and and um, and as you you see right there, how the assistant is switching as I'm give, commanding for now lat for for um, you know protrusive and laterals. Now she uses the red, you know, she switches the plier to the red. And I, I position the patient in centric first, and then I ask the patient to move her mandible. Uh, you know, first I usually check lat uh, the lateral movement, so I will ask the patient to slide her jaw uh, to the right, to the left. First, position the patient in CR, and then ask the patient to slide right and left. Again, position in CR, right and left. Any marks, any red outside of blue, I will adjust. Again, no water during this process. And the assistant is, is not really suctioning water from what, using the high vo volume evacuator suction. The assistant is suctioning the saliva. That is basically the technique.